right now we have two vaccines that have emergency authorization and a third that's expected to get emergency authorization in just a couple days. The two that we have right now, the Pfizer and Moderna, are very similar vaccines. They're both messenger RNA or mRNA vaccines. They were made in a very similar way and the ingredients in those vaccines um, are virtually identical. So for all intents and purposes, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are really similar. Um, they're similar in that they both require two doses to be effective, and they're also similar in their safety and efficacy profiles. So they're both so far been found to be very safe and highly effective. Now the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is made in a different way. It may look less effective than the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines with only 85% uh, efficacy to prevent that severe disease where you would be hospitalized. Um, but it's only a single dose. So that's a big benefit um, for many populations where it would be very difficult um, to come back to get a second dose three to four weeks later, like you would need to do with the Pfizer and Moderna shots. Um, so uh, they all have their pros and cons, but um, uh, and right now there's not much of a choice because we only have those two, um, but is it expected that um, hopefully in the weeks and months ahead that we'll have at least three choices, if not uh, more coming down the line. Once the Johnson & Johnson uh, vaccine um, gets the expected authorization and is available, um, I know some people are concerned about if they have a choice, um, maybe they shouldn't choose that one because it looks less effective. Um, however, the, the threshold for what we were considering to be acceptable was 50% efficacy. So um, to put that into some perspective, the annual flu vaccine can range anywhere from, you know, 40% effective in what we'd call a bad year um, to more typically 60 or 70% effective um, in a typical year. So when we say that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be 85% effective in preventing uh, moderate or severe disease, that's uh, really, I would consider, a highly effective vaccine. And it's well above the threshold of the 50% effective that we were saying would be sort of the bottom line of what would be acceptable um, to offer to people. So even though the 85% looks to be not as good as 94 to 95%, I would put all three of those vaccines in the category of being highly effective.